If your life is anything like mine, you might be craving some organization. And the iPad is my favorite tool for eliminating chaos and wrangling in all the tasks, chores, and work that needs to be done in a given day. The iPad is perfect for putting together to-do lists. It's great for sending you reminders right when you need them. And it can bring work front and center on the home screen so that you don't forget about it. You can also use Apple Intelligence to limit the notifications you're receiving and just focus on what you need to in the moment. In addition, there are are some new apps that are coming our way in iPad OS 26, such as the journaling app, which can help you organize your thoughts and bring some clarity at the end of the day. So useful. Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and we all know that life can be hectic. There is so much going on with work, school, parenting, chores, and all the other things. But if you need some help getting organized, the iPad is a great way to get started. There are lots of tools that are readily available at your fingertips. And in today's digital world, where everything is coming at you all the time through our device, it's great to know how to quiet all of that stimulation and just get the things that you need at that moment in time. So in this video, I want to break down some key ways that I use to organize my life, my time, my work, and all the other things I need to be doing during the day. I want to show you some apps and some built-in settings and some things you can do with your home screen that will just help you get things fleshed out and stay as organized as possible. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so the top-notch first app out of the gate I have to mention is the Reminders app and this app has been around for a very long time it's been on all the OS's for Apple products and it's just absolutely fantastic when you want to make a list of things you need to do it's so great because you can make different kinds of lists so if you want to make a new list you just go up to the new list button in the top left corner you can name your list you can color code your list and you can even give it an icon to help you remember what that list is and I've got all kinds of lists going for my chores around the house I've got lists going for work and then I just have general reminders what I really love about reminders is that you can set a specific day and time for each reminder. So if you just click the little I button next to a reminder, you can set the day and the time in which you'll get this notification. For example, this is really useful for me when I need to change the laundry. I always forget to change the laundry over when I put it in the washer. I don't know why. But if you forget to change the laundry, you pretty much got to start over from scratch, right? So every time I throw my laundry in the washer, I set a reminder. And what's great about reminders is you can use Siri to quickly set the reminder. On your iPad, you can either type it into Siri or you can just say, hey Siri, remind me to change the laundry in one hour. And I love being in the Apple ecosystem because with reminders, I'll get a friendly little nudge on my Apple Watch and this tells me, hey man, you gotta go change that laundry. Something else that's really cool about reminders is you can share lists and collaborate. And so for example, I just went on vacation a couple weeks ago and I was taking my adult sons with me. They're both college students and sometimes college kiddos need a little reminding to do things. So I sent them both a packing list to make sure that they packed everything that they needed to have before we met at the airport. So if you need to collaborate and have reminder lists for everybody in the family, you can absolutely do that. Or you can do this with coworkers as well. I think it's really super convenient. To share a list with somebody, all you have to do is press and hold on one of your lists and there is an option to share the list. And then you can send it via messages or mail, for example. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about to help you get organized is focus. And so focus has come a long way way in the iPad over the years. And in iPad OS 18, they released a ton of new features. So in today's world, we're always being pulled in lots of different directions. And often the culprit of that is our devices, our phone, our tablets, our computers. And you got to find a way to channel all that and just get what you need to come in and not everything. Well, you can access focus from the control center. And so if you just pull down from the top right of your iPad and select focus, you have a lot of different options now. For example, you can just turn on do not disturb and it just quiets all notifications. Make sure you select a time frame. I like to select one hour because if you just click do not disturb it will just silence all notifications forever and you won't be getting anything if you forget to turn that feature off. So set a time limit. But there are lots of other ways now to set a focus so that you can just channel in and focus on what you need to. For example you have a work setting where you can simply tap this and you can go into settings and there are lots of different things you can do now. You can select the apps that you want to have access to while you're focusing on work and just turn everything else off. You can also select certain people that you want to hear from and just turn everybody else off, like maybe that pesky ex-wife. But one of the coolest features about Focus now is that you can set up an entire home screen that is just for work or just for recreation, and you can turn that on so you can just focus on that. So you can set up a home screen with just the apps and just the widgets that you want. And once you have that all set up and you turn on the work 
focus, there it will be. There's your home screen laid out just the way you want it. And when you turn that focus off, your iPad goes back to normal. I really love that and think that's pretty darn cool. Okay, so another great way to add focus and organization to your life is through a good journaling app on the iPad. And you've got some options for this now. So I don't know about you, but life can be stressful. Parenting can be stressful. Relationships are stressful. Work is stressful. And even YouTubing can be stressful. And journaling has been proven to be a very therapeutic way to organize your thoughts and your emotions and just get them out at the end of the day so you can make sense of them. Journaling can help you unpack everything and then organize it in a great way. And there are lots of good apps that will help you do it. Now, with iPadOS 26, which I've been demoing quite a bit on my channel, you now get access to the journaling app, which used to be an iPhone app exclusively. Well, now you have it on the iPad, and that is so much better to have it on that big screen and be able to use it with a keyboard. And if you want, you can even use the Apple Pencil to write out your journal entry if that's more therapeutic for you. Now, before the journal app, I used to use an app called Day One. It is also a great journal. It helps you organize your thoughts very easily. You can also passcode lock your journal, and it can give you prompts and widgets on your home screen. And I really love this. Both the journal app and the Day One app will give you prompts of things to think about so that you can help get your thoughts out, especially at the end of a chaotic day where you've almost forgotten what happened. Those prompts are really helpful. So try a good journaling app. Make sure you try the widgets as well so that you can get those good prompts on your home screen and get your thoughts out at the end of the day, middle of the day, beginning of the day, whatever works for you. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is widgets, and I've actually gotten a lot better at using widgets. I've started to see the value in those. There are so many things you can do to organize yourself, to organize your work or school or all the other things you need to focus on. It can bring those front and center on your home screen. And so your home screen can now give you lots of information that you need to be paying attention to. For example, you can put a reminders widget on your home screen. This will show you some of the top reminders that you need to make sure you remember to do. I also like to use the Excel and Word widgets. Those give you the most recent file you've been working in. I really love that. I can just go right back to a piece of work that I know I was just working on an hour ago. There are all kinds of other widgets. If you want to access those, you just simply press and hold on the screen and then there's an edit button in the top left and you can access the widgets. Try flipping through some of the widgets that you want to see. There's lots of different ways to display those widgets. They can be really small or take up a larger portion of the screen and give you more information. It's definitely good to take a pass at your favorite apps and check out which widgets might give you some good information. We'll definitely help you get organized. Okay, so those are some of the key ways that I use my iPad to stay organized and just keep my life together and keep all my thoughts in a good space. It can be difficult and we don't want our devices to work against us when it comes to organization. We want them to work for us and help us keep our lives together as best as possible. Let me know how you stay organized with your devices. I'd love to hear more input about how others use their iPad or iPhone to stay organized. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.